There are even more criminal charges ahead for Castro, charges that could call for the death penalty. News Channel 5 Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now with more on what's ahead for Castro, Ron. Well, Lee, in legal terms, it's called a superseding indictment. That essentially means new additional charges. So what would that include? Well, we know that while Castro is currently facing 329 counts that include rape, kidnapping, and aggravated murder, that covers only crimes allegedly committed through February 2007. But there's three more years that prosecutors are now looking at and determining what additional crimes may have occurred. Those would certainly be in a superseding indictment. So could a death penalty charge relating to beating Michelle Knight when she was pregnant and causing the death of the child she was carrying. Avery Friedman is a Cleveland attorney who says it may be legally hard to prove. You really have to be specific in proving uh, a case that warrants death penalty. You need the specifics of when the death occurred and how the death occurred. But here's what's also important to know. A superseding indictment would delay a trial date, bring yet another arraignment date for Castro, delay the process further, and possibly even move the case to a new courtroom and a new judge. Live in the newsroom, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.